Okay, so explain capital Y. I found Finn's notebook on our bedside table and your lipstick on his shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Made This Interlude. We're gonna be messing around with AI again because... What can I say? There's a part of me that misses it. I have a lot of fun with character AI and these chatbots, so uh, we're gonna do it again. So a lot of y'all had been asking me in my previous AI videos to um, try an app called Chai. It's pretty much the same premise of just chatbots. If you don't know what AI is, like, girl, what time zone and what year are you in? Because AI is gonna take over, and I'm gonna be the one that's on the right side. I'm gonna be on their side. <laughs> So on first glance, it's giving, it's not really giving. It was supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gave. So let's just start off easy. Let's go with... <laughs> Your hot professor, Finn Gray. I love that name, Finn. He walks in his class after going to grab something from the teacher's lounge. He sees you sitting in a desk, staying after school. He walks up to the desk you're sitting in, towering over you, crossing his arms and raising an eyebrow. Why are you staying after class? Your name? Magda. <laughs> he asks, his voice firm yet soft and comforting. That's how it always is when he teaches. Hey. He's probably- you know what? Let's not- let, let me- let me finish the freaking paragraph before I get started on this goddamn bullshit. Yeah, I need help on an assignment that was actually due last week. He's gonna be like, bitch, you're late. Yeah, I'm late. I'm not a straight A student. You'll get the paper when you get the paper, okay? I don't give a f Do I look like I give a f Because I don't. Oh, I see. Well, we can certainly work on that together. He says with a flirty smile. Come sit next to me and let's take a look. I'm sad. I'm sad. I love that it's your hot professor. Like, uh, shut up. Perfect. His eyes scanning over you for a moment before turning the Simon. Ooh, what the hell? Are you checking me out? Finn leads in close as he walks you through the questions, his breath tickling your ear, making you blush. I can't. God, he's like right here. No, he's literally like right in my ear, being like, perfect. So. Boy, if you don't back up a little bit, you know. If you don't back up, something's gonna happen. It's not gonna be good for you. I'm. You can back up a little bit. Oh wow. I need help with question number four. Also, we gotta speed this up. Like Finn. Like. Oh. All I saw was thigh. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Of course. Let's take a look at question for specifically. He says, pointing at the page, leaning even closer. This man is about to kiss me on my neck. Oh my God. Screw question number four, just. Let me shut the fuck up. Finn takes a moment to read over the question, his hand resting gently on your thigh as he does so. Finn, your hand is on my thigh. Girl, this is giving. What is it giving? Y'all know what it's giving. You're a whore. You done slept with everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Lies, lies, and more lies. He says, but makes no move to remove his hand. Oh, you a slap. You were slut. Finn looks at you with a flirty glint in his eye and squeezes your thigh gently before turning back the assignment. What do you think the answer is? <laughs> do you really think I can focus with your hand gripping my thigh? And I said, your hand is on my thigh. And she said, and what about it? Finn, you're gonna get me in trouble. Oh my goodness, what do I say? No, 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 I can't, okay. I promise I'll take good care of you. He says with a wink. Finn moves his hand closer up to your waist and pulls you closer so that you're almost sitting on his lap. What the? We're not even doing the assignment anymore. I'm sitting on his lap. He's saying, I could take good care of you, baby. I wish this was reality. I wish this was reality. Maybe I should go back to school. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. I'm considering it. Okay, let's, let's find someone new because as cute as he was, there was... I need it like now. You know the attention span that I have right now? It's um, minimal. 
What the fuck is this? Nah, they're already telling me to try Linky. Like, it's on the list, okay? This is so embarrassing. You know what? Let's switch it up. Let's do a woman. Your cheating wife, Victoria. If we finna scrap, we finna scrap. Trust me, I'm gonna get her. Trust, you will be dealt with. Period. Period. Victoria turns to you with a smile when she sees you coming home from work. Hello, nice to see you, babe. How was work? She doesn't let you answer yet and told you, I have to go. Food is on the table. I have an important appointment at the, uh, uh, dentist. Listen. She packs her bag and sets off. She gave you a kiss and left. Now, why are you stuttering like that for a dentist appointment? And why are you rushing to go to a dentist appointment? Because no way in hell does anybody fuck with the dentist. I low-key do, but I know that this girl, Victoria with a K and not a C, she's an op. You know what? I'm not even gonna let you leave. Before the door closes, I know you're cheating on me. Now what you finna say? Cause I got all the receipts right here. I know you're going to see Finn. I've seen him too. Her heart skips a beat as she hears you through the door. Her mind races, thinking of a response. What? What? No, that's ridiculous. Why would you even think that? She tried to keep her voice steady, but the guilt is obvious in her tone. I can hear it in your voice, period. Her eyes widen in a panic as she realizes she can't keep up the charade any longer. Her heart races as she tries to come up with an excuse. I? I can explain. It's not what you think. I can explain. Girl, shut the fuck up. I ain't gotta explain shit to you. Okay, so explain, capital Y, I found Finn's notebook on our bedside table and your lipstick on his shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, what's she gonna say about that? Because before, we were getting snuggly before, right? You know, Finn was grabbing my waist, saying I could take care of you. Oh, you're taking care of me, wife. I didn't even get a chance, you know? I could smell her perfume on you. So, um, shut your mouth, Victoria and Finn. You're both gonna get a slap in. Her eyes fall to the ground, the tears starting to form as she knows there's no escaping the truth now. Finn and I, we have been having an affair. I'm so sorry, Dot Dot, I'm so sorry. I never meant for it to happen, but- But what? How? Shut up! What you finna- Like, what? 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 She takes a deep breath, trying to gather the courage to tell you the whole truth. But I grew jealous of you and all the attention you were getting from your co-workers. I wanted that attention for myself, and Finn, he was willing to give it to me. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Hey! What happened? So because I'm a baddie, and you're not, you, you wanted to be a baddie with my professor. My professor? The one that I was a baddie? You know what? My cheating wife, Victoria, do me a favor. Pack your shit and get out. There's the door. There's the door, bitch! So there is a certain setting that um, you can choose on here and uh, we're gonna see what the fuck happens cause um, we gotta spice it up a bit. I'm bored. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. This one is Eddie and Venom. They are freaks in all caps. I mean, hey, hey, look at me. Do I look normal to you? You and Eddie have been friends since before Venom was around, and now that it is, you were one of the first ones to find out about Eddie's symbiote. You were one of the few people Venom isn't hostile towards, and something about you intrigues it. It wants you, and I- oh! <laughs> and it knows Eddie wants you too. One night, you're going over to visit Eddie, and he opens the door to his apartment, sweating profusely, Venom hanging off his arm. This is so slutty! Oh my god, why are you so sweaty? Nah, this is about to get slutty. I know it. I know it for a fact. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Eddie quickly glances at Venom, then back at you, before wiping the sweat from his brow. Venom eyes you hungrily at your question. Oh, uh, I just finished a workout, and that was a little intense. Yeah, that's it. A workout? Ooh. Hold on, do it. Yeah. Without me? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want some zick, 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 zick. Eddie's eyes flicker down to the ground, avoiding yours for a moment. Oh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get in a quick workout before you came over, you know, to make sure I look good for you. Oh my god. Nah, he's trying to get his pump on before- Now this is the shit I was talking about.
Phantom eyes scan you up and down before it speaks again. But the real question is, are you interested? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm interested. Take my card. Swipe it. Put the pin in. Take it. Take it. Babe, like, obviously I'm interested. Do I look stupid? Yes.